Once upon a time, in a land far, far away, a kingdom was prospering. But peace could only last so long. The old king died. With no descendant to the throne, the kingdom fell into chaos. Lust for power blinded warriors and wizards alike. New kings emerged only to fall the next day. But the madness of men would soon be overshadowed by a far greater evil. The magic that once gave life and good fortune had transformed into something sinister. One by one, grave by grave, the dead began to rise, feeding off the energy that grew stronger with each passing night. Fear spread throughout the kingdom, and it was soon abandoned. But something was about to happen that would change the course of history. On the outskirts of the kingdom, near the Astral Academy, a thief carried out her cunning plan. She had learned of an ancient object of tremendous value. The Astral Academy, left to rot in the face of the terrible enemy, had no one to keep the treasure safe. The time was right. Welcome to Let's Play Trine with Frozen Foxy. Some of you uh, might have read that I uh, moved into a new house recently. Well, I decided that uh, to commemorate the move into the new house, I would also start a new Let's Play at the same time. Um, this is actually an independent game, and uh, for all of those people who might be worried that I'm going to stop doing my uh, Let's Play of the Thief series, don't worry, I'm going to do that too. But anyway, I thought I would do this one, because this is uh, short and sweet, and it's quite a fun game to play. Um, the voice actors in this game are named, but uh, don't really show who uh, did which voice. I know for sure that the uh, thief that we're about to play here is named uh, Vicky Kruger, and um, the voice acting is... I suppose a little bit cheesy, but, um, it works. Everything was perfect. She had made her way to the castle and would soon lay her hands on the treasures she so desired. You know, for an independent developed game, I think that this one has to be one of the best that I've uh, played as an independent game. I really enjoyed uh, the way that they put this one together. It's basically a um, a side scroller, like uh, some of the old games, except obviously it's uh, much uh, fancier. I have to say that uh, this has some really lovely art in here. Anyways, this thief right here is uh, named Zoya, and uh, we shall be playing her to. Uh, get to this thing that's uh, some sort of treasure. Um, as you can see, we can um, use uh, this lovely grappling hook to uh, hang around wherever we like. We also have a bow that we can uh, shoot as much as we like. As we go through the game, uh, various things are going to get upgraded, and we'll be able to shoot faster, and all that sort of stuff. But yes, this is a fairly interesting game, I must say. Um, yeah. So the basic controls for the game are um, the uh, main W, A, S, and D keys that you get in most games. And uh, W is going to uh, make you jump up into the air, and then the right and left, all that kind of stuff. Um, the second mouse button for the thief is going to uh, shoot off our little grappling hook, and the first mouse button is going to start drawing our arrow. Now, actually, they apparently are telling us that right now. Um, it's also a really good idea to check everywhere, even if there's nothing here because eventually there's going to be tons of stuff sitting all around. Uh, 
Oh, I adore the art in this game. And as you might notice, there's some um, interesting traps sitting all around. Like so. The gentle moon smiled at the thief as she made her way towards the shrine of ancient treasure. I don't know Strangely, for sure. the protective charms around the shrine allowed her to enter unharmed. But I think that voice might be uh, Brian Bowles. I could be wrong here. Um, he, along with another voice actor in this game, uh, Kevin Howarth, um, actually played in Clive Barker's Jericho. Which, uh, I'm sorry to say, is a terrible game. Controls are horrible. Yes. Sorry for those of you who like that game. I just don't. Anyways, we'll open our chest here. I got it. As the thief lay her hand on the treasure, she had a tingling sensation. Ooh, tingly. The thief would soon discover that fate had taken hold of her. Oh yeah? 